Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get high kills at the start of the game and how to clear out the area that you land in. I have two clips to show you guys, the first is me landing in retail row and the second is me landing in pleasant park. So what I usually like to do when I land in retail row, I like to land at this basketball house. Uh, there's two chests at the roofs, I usually like to land on them, check if there's anything in there. If not, I, usually, I usually enter from the back door and see if there's a weapon, which in this case there wasn't any chest on the roofs. So I entered here, uh, grabbed the pump. Okay, so I hear people slashing each other at the top. So I knew they, I knew they don't have guns. So I enter the top here. The first thing I usually like to do is head straight onto the roof. That way, if I have an AR, I can easily pick anyone coming into the house or trying to leave the house. So after I jumped those enemies, I pushed this guy at the house. Uh, I pumped him right there real quick. He tried throwing grenades, expecting me to follow him. Uh, he didn't have weapons, but he didn't really use them. I also saw a guy back at the basketball house. So at this point, I have enough mats where I'm confident enough so I'll, I'll be able to push anyone. So I start pushing this guy down here. He got shot from over there, but I'm going to ignore him until I get this guy. Yeah, I got the pump off right on this guy. Finished up the kill. There's another guy building above me, but you see as long as I, as long as I have all these mats, I'm able to like push up easier. Close call. Should have uh, aimed better there. So I heard this guy place a trap earlier in the game, so I wanted to be pretty careful about running straight in. I just heard him stealing in here because I hit him earlier. So this last guy shot me on the way to the stores, uh, managed to get a headshot off on me with his AR. I had a big shield to drink, so he probably still thought I was in front of the stores. I decided to sneak in from the back. I heard him building, so I wanted to check up what's up and look up this guy. Never made this guy build up this high without a plan to get back. Thank you guys. So that's seven kills coming out of retail. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys my uh, pleasant park clip. Something that's pretty risky is like opening a chest next to someone, but I saw this no spin and I thought I could press X faster than him, and I did. So I got the kill off. Uh, I got this big shield and now I have an SMG. I usually don't like to get SMGs early game because um, they run out of ammo pretty quick. So this guy right here decided he wanted to push me. Uh, Stop spamming the grenades. Going to be a little bit safe on his back. Saw him there. Luckily, luckily this guy wasn't that good. Um, Finally, I get a chance to heal up. Although there's another guy still pushing me. So after I heal up, I pick up the shot with this last guy right here. I missed my second shot, which was pretty risky, but uh, thankfully I got the kill off. As I'm healing up to Band-Aid, uh, this, third, this third girl pushes me. Got off the headshot on her, she was pretty weak. And that gave me time to heal up. Whenever you land at a spot and want to get high kill starts, it's important for you to memorize the location of where you land and how to rotate within that area. It's also important to be able to get a good landing. If you have landed in that spot many times before, you'll be able to get a good landing most of the time. For example, when I land at the retail row, I always land at the basketball house roof where the two chests spawn. If no chests are there when I land on the roof, I enter from the back door on the second floor and check the weapon. Since I've practiced this landing many times before, I'm able to beat most people trying to get to the spot and get the weapons first, which gives me a big advantage in these early game starts. So to recap, the most important part of getting high kills at the start of your game is being able to practice those landing and memorize the rotation of the area in which you land.
I ended up getting out of Pleasant Park with about 7 kills and 42 people remaining, which is a pretty good start to it. And it's about on pace to get 20 kills. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.